hi everyone welcome to learning asp.net core this is madan today i'm going to show you how we can add authorization to our mbc views in asp.net core mbc application so here i have opened the application that i created in previous demo so if you have not gone through that video then i recommend you to go through that video from the playlist and uh, right at the moment we have this link here we can go over to the home and then we also have uh, user role management but that require us to go through login so we have a user here password and we see this now let's say we want some content to render only when user is logged in and uh, when user is not logged in then we want to show uh, other things so whenever we click on the home let's say the user has been logged in and we see welcome and this button here and still when the user is logged out and we click on home then also we see the same content here but we want to show and hide this content based on whether the user has been logged in or not so i am using the same project here that i created in the previous demo and you can also find the source code from the description so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to the home controller and index action and modify the display of this content based on whether the user has been logged in or not so in order to use uh, authentication and authorization in asp.net view we need to inject sign in manager and we need to pass the generic type of identity user identity user sign in manager now with this we can check whether the user has been logged in or not and uh, we need to bring in the namespace for this and uh, this will be microsoft dot asp.net core dot identity dot sign in manager and this should work here and for the identity user also we need to bring in the namespace but we can uh, do that in our view import so let's go over to the view import dot html as you can see view import dot html in views and view imports dot html here so let's import that namespace here using microsoft dot spnet core dot identity now we can use the identity related uh, apis from our views without bringing in the full namespace so let's go over to our index action now our error has gone now with sign in manager we can check whether the user has been signed in logged in or not so what we can do is if sign in manager dot is signed in and we can pass user here this user is available from the framework so we just need to type user here and we don't need to do anything else so if user is signed in then we want to show this we want to show the button here Control. okay let's save this and if user is not signed in then we want to simply say the user a message to login so please log in to view more view more so this is all with identity framework we just need to inject the sign in manager uh, with the generic type of identity user and we can use that and pass it has an api called it signed in and we can pass the user and put our condition here to check whether the user has been logged in or not so our application is up and running here and now the user has not been logged in and we see that please log in to view more so whenever we i click on the home then i see that message also let's put the welcome message here and let's put a class equal to equal to text center here and also let's give a welcome message as well so let's save and let's refresh and the server is starting up so we see this and uh, the welcome message i want to put this in center as well text center and let's save this 
and in order to use uh, identity framework that is uh, we use a uh, identity framework provided by asp.net core uh, for authorization and in order to use identity framework whenever you create a new project you need to create that project with individual authentication so when uh, you create a new project from the wizard then on the right hand side you will see uh, use authentication and from there you can see uh, individual authentication so if you select that then we will get uh, register and login feature integrated to our project here and i did the same thing when i created my previous video about authorization in asp.net core and this video is based upon the previous video so here user has not been logged in and we see that the please log in to view more but let's log in and at the red gmail.com and we have a password and now whenever user is logged in we see the another message here welcome and we see this button but uh, uh, for the unauthorized or uh, guest user um, they won't be able to see this button here so in this way we can configure uh, our authentication uh, and authorization in mbc views so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day